Hi there, welcome back to Danny's Green Corner. Today is my favorite of all days. I've been planning this day for months now. I'm about to go get tattooed. So come along with me and I'll give you some tips and tricks on what you need to know before you get a rather large tattoo. I'm excited, let's go. So some things to know before you get tattooed. Number one, make sure that you're hydrated and that you eat a snack beforehand because your adrenaline is gonna be racing and you're sitting in the same place. A lot of people can faint or feel lightheaded. So make sure you eat a good meal before you get tattooed. Number two is definitely wear clothes that are you know, manageable for you getting tattooed. Like I'm getting the back of my legs tattooed. So I'm wearing some black shorts. Um, I recommend that if you are getting tattooed to wear something black, um, that way if the ink gets on it, you're not gonna ruin your clothes by getting a tattoo. Um, and thirdly, um, a lot of people don't realize this getting tattooed, that they do have to shave the part of you that you're getting tattooed. So if you feel awkward with someone shaving that part of your body, like if you're a guy getting a chest piece and you have a hairy chest, just shave it before you go in because they're gonna have to do it for you. And I personally would rather shave myself than someone do it for me. But those are definitely the things you need to know before entering the tattoo shop. And things to know about aftercare for your tattoos. Most of the time your artist is gonna have a specific requirement for what you need to do to keep your tattoo to heal, depending on what style of art they do. Um, a lot of people who do like really faint line work want you to just, you know, keep it really clean and keep lotion off of it for a while. It really depends on the artist itself. Uh, but first off, listen to whatever your tattoo artist gives you as suggestions for aftercare. As for me, um, I just like to use some dial soap, just some antibacterial, you know, gold soap and keep it really clean the first few days. Um, wrap it in saran wrap when I'm sleeping if it's a big tattoo so it doesn't stick to my bedding and pull off the scabs or anything. Um, and you don't need to start using lotion until it starts getting really flaky and itchy. A lot of people start putting on lotion too soon. It's better to keep your tattoo clean in the beginning of your tattoo than it is for you to go later and just put a bunch of ointment on it when it doesn't need it. Another thing to remember about getting tattooed is your tattoo is going to take a few months to actually completely heal. That's why I like to get tattooed in the winter opposed to the summer because you don't want it to be in direct sunlight and to preserve your tattoos, you definitely want to use some SPF on them. Uh, but it's just a lot easier to get tattooed in the winter so that way you can keep your tattoos covered. They're not in the sun. You also have to remember that you can't go in like a pool or chlorine or the ocean. You don't want to go on the beach or anything. Um, so be mindful when you get tattooed that it's not going to heal in like a week's time. For it to be completely healed, it's probably gonna take like a month, a month and a half. So I got here and then we did the sizing and everything. Um, started around 3.15, 3.30. It is almost, what, 11? So we've been going, oh, so we've been going for a hot minute. So I'm very tired, but it's, it's one of those things where like it's uncomfortable while you're getting tattooed, but like the second they pick up the needle, it's fine. So it's like really something that you just have to like chill through and then breathe through and just hang out. But like, I don't know. I always feel like I like came over a hurdle, an obstacle to get something cool every time I got tattooed. I'm like, I did that. So, you know, you get to sit for seven, eight hours and be in pain, but then you get to rock a cool tattoo for the rest of your life. So it's pretty worth it to me. Well, that was a day. Thank you so much for watching. Hit up the DMs if you want to talk to me about art or an idea or a concept you're looking to get. Until next time, thank you so much.